The idea of a stretch for a young horse is to stretch them longitudinally, basically from the tail to the tip of the nose. So first you see I had him quite through and traveling very forward. And then I have the feeling inside leg to outside rein. And I gradually yield the rein and allow him to take the rein forward and down. Whilst I'm doing it, I'm still very much pushing him to my outside rein and using my inside leg to keep those sluice muscles through his ribs, really opening the floodgates of looseness and softness through the spine. Because of course, when you have a loose rib, you have a much easier, the horse has a much better ability to step up underneath his center of balance, which is right underneath my bottom. So I'm really pushing him over into my outside rein. And the more through he is, you see that I keep putting him up and traveling him forward and then letting him stretch down again. Because if they just stretch, stretch, stretch forever, they lose a little bit of their throughness. So with my babies, this horse is three, this is Florian. I bring him up and we travel forward. Oops, there's Andy's finger. <laughs> Sorry, Angie. I bring him up and we travel forward. And then when I can, and I feel the right moment that he's really pushing from the inside leg into the outside leg, the inside rein into the outside rein. And he's a good boy. I think this, he's three. So I wait until he's a good boy. I don't stretch him when he's too fresh. I don't stretch him when he's a little bit spooky. Once he's very through and I'm really happy with him, I start to allow him to push inside leg, outside rein. When I feel him fill up the outside rein, I start to yield him a little bit. Good. Good. There we come. I felt happy with that long side. I felt that he was really stepping up underneath my bottom. So I gradually yielded the reins. You'll also notice when I take up the reins, Angie, you mentioned to me in your questions that you wanted to know how do I make that the horse doesn't slow down or invert his neck? I think that is a question of, tr of true th throughness. If he is truly through, that was a tongue twister, when you take up the outside rein first and then the inside rein, if you're really, really through, the horse won't, whoops, there he has a little trip. He is only three after all. If the horse is truly through as you take up the rein, he doesn't want to invert his neck or slow down. So when I use those words, truly through, for me, the purpose of the stretch is that the horse learns to step his hind leg up underneath his body with the head in a forward, downward motion through a really swinging back. So you could actually clearly see me leg yield him then. I just didn't quite have that inside rib muscle. And remember that the sluice muscles in the ribs are absolutely imperative that you move them away in order to make the spine long and loose. And as the baby horses who don't have much muscle, like Red Ange, that your horse, when they're, when they're stretching, their back muscles are still quite weak. So I do lots of different exercises. Obviously, we do lots of cavaletti and, and ground poles, but I, I usually don't even do this much stretching. I bring them up and I stretch them down. I'm doing this much really for you. And you can see me again, I'm doing it for the camera especially, you can see me very clearly pushing those lovely loosening rib muscles over to the outside. When he releases them, I soften the inside leg. You'll also clearly see me when I bring the rein up that it's always my outside rein first. There you see me leg yield him again. Always the outside rein first and always feeling if I want to make him a little softer and more through so he can stretch properly underneath himself that I am leg yielding inside leg to outside leg, inside rein to outside rein. Yeah, very nice there. He's a good boy. You see his tail swinging. So the stretch is having the desired effect which is the horse is loosening his back. When a horse has a loose back, they can step more under themselves. When they can step more under themselves, guess what? You start to get towards self-carriage. When you have self-carriage, then you start to have a horse that can move beautifully and freely. And for a three-year-old, he is a very balanced three-year-old. He has always been. He's a very naturally balanced three-year-old. Good, and then I take him a little forward. Good, so you're always just playing with different muscles. Normally, if I wasn't doing this especially to show you how to stretch him out without him slowing down, inverting his neck, I would do a lot of canter in between this and some leg yields and that sort of stuff. So here you see me again making a little bit of a, a lengthened trot, just a little bit, and just asking him to keep pushing himself up and underneath his center of balance. 
And as soon as he's a good boy, yeah, here we go. And I start to yield him again. Good boy, Blue. I think the main part of stretching your babies is that they're relaxed. So I always, as you can see, I'm just got my leg moving gently on him. I think sometimes, probably 99% of the time, I make a nice transition to the walk to help relax.